Avoiding cultural pitfalls. Mindful introductions. Hello everyone, and welcome to our next video. Today, we're diving deep into the world of introductions, specifically focusing on cultural sensitivity. Have you ever wondered if your introduction might come across as rude or inappropriate in another culture? Well, today's video is just for you. Let's jump right in and uncover the potential pitfalls and misunderstandings we might encounter. Understanding cultural sensitivity is crucial, especially when meeting someone for the first time. First impressions are lasting, and the last thing you want to do is unintentionally offend someone. By being aware of different cultural norms, you not only show respect but also create a positive and lasting impression. Names. In some cultures, it's common to use the last name followed by a title, like Mr. or Ms., unless invited to do otherwise. In others, using first names immediately can signify warmth and friendliness. Physical contact. In many Western cultures, a handshake is a standard form of greeting. However, in some Asian cultures, a bow might be more appropriate, while in certain parts of Europe, a cheek kiss is customary. Always ensure your physical greetings align with the cultural norms of the person you're meeting. Eye contact. While maintaining eye contact can signify confidence and trustworthiness in many cultures, in others, it might be seen as a sign of disrespect or challenge. Formality. Some cultures prioritize formal introductions, with specific phrases and titles. Others might be more laid back. Gauge the setting and be aware of the cultural context. 1. Research ahead of time. If you know you'll be meeting someone from a specific culture, do a bit of research to understand their greeting customs. 2. Follow their lead. Allow the other person to initiate the greeting. This way, you can ensure you're aligning with their comfort level. 3. Ask when in doubt. It's okay to ask someone how they'd like to be addressed or what's customary in their culture. It shows that you care and are trying to be respectful. 4. Apologize if needed. If you realize you've made a faux pas, apologize sincerely. Most people appreciate the fact that you're trying to understand and respect their customs. That's a wrap for today's video on cultural sensitivity in introductions. Remember, it's all about respect, understanding, and communication. By being mindful of potential misunderstandings, you're not just being a better communicator, but also a global citizen who's paving the way for stronger, more positive connections. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, happy learning.